good morning students myself renu yadav and today i will teach you science lesson 9 work and energy class 5 okay children can you see here in the diagram one man is pushing the table and the other man is pulling the table what will be the result of this work the result will be the position of the table will be changed right work work is set to be done only if the object changes its position due to the force used on it to do work we require energy 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 is the capacity to do work forms of energy electrical energy heat energy chemical energy wind energy hydro energy and geothermal energy electrical energy we use electrical energy to run the fan electric bulb electric devices like a refrigerator washing machine iron etc okay children here you can see the example of electric energy on our left hand side we have a washing machine and on right hand side we have led lights heat energy sun is the main source of energy the energy obtained from the sun is called solar energy it is present in all living beings it is also used in solar lights solar panels solar cells etc heat energy is also used in electric heaters iron etc so children just now we learned that sun is the ultimate source of energy it provides energy to every living and non living thing and it give energy to every living organism in a direct or indirect way so so here we can see solar water heaters and solar panel as examples of heat energy chemical energy energy present in food materials is in the form of chemical energy a dry cell that is used in torch also have chemical energy stored in it lighting a matchstick and cooking involves chemical energy as well as heat energy as discussed to children a burning matchstick a burner gas burner and a dry cell these are examples of chemical energy wind energy the energy obtained from moving air is called 
wind energy. It is used to move wind miles. Okay, children. Uh, here in the picture, you can see wind miles. Hydro energy. The energy obtained from falling water is called hydro energy. Hydro energy is used to produce electricity in hydro power stations. In this picture, you can see a dam. Geothermal energy. The energy obtained from the interior of the earth is called geothermal energy. Here you can see the example of geothermal energy. Renewable sources of energy. The energy from natural sources like sun, wind and flowing water are called renewable sources of energy. They are always available to us. Okay children, in this picture you can see uh, the example of renewable energy. We have solar energy, wind power, biomass, hydropower and geothermal energy. That is energy from the heat of the earth energy from the force of moving water, energy from the wind, energy from plants and energy from the sun. Fossil fuels. Fuels that are obtained from the dead remains of plants and animals that got buried millions of years ago under the earth are called fossil fuels. These are very difficult to replenish as they take millions of years to be formed. Thus, they are called non-renewable sources of energy. Coal is the example of non-renewable sources of energy or the fossil fuel. Okay, children, here in this diagram you can see how uh, coal is formed. See, 300 million ago some swamps are formed before the dinosaurs. Many giant plants died in swamps. And then 100 million years ago, over millions of years, the plants were buried under water and dirt. Okay. And then heat and pressure turned the dead plants into coal. So, it took million of years to form coal. Right? We can conserve fossil fuels by using renewable sources of energy like wind, water and solar energy. Conversion of energy. Energy can be changed from one form into another. In this example, we can see that electrical energy turns to light energy. When a bulb is switched on, the electric passes to the bulb and then the bulb gives light. Okay, so electrical energy turns to light energy. In this example, we can see that electric energy changes to heat energy. When electricity is passed to an ion, then iron get heated up and then we can iron our clothes. Here we can see the example of chemical energy turning to electrical energy. When these uh, we discussed in the class that uh, the dry cells used to have chemical energy in it and then when these dry cells are uh, pasted in the remotes and the other thing, it turns into electrical energy. 
here we can see that electrical energy turns to sound energy when electricity is passed through uh, the bell and we press it over then the uh, the electric electric bell produces a sound with this i end up with the topic thank you